Hi, everyone. Happy to be with you in the Global Airport Leaders Forum after all what we have went through during year 2020, which was the year of survivability, and year 2021, which in our opinion is the year of recovery. Uh, we have seen a lot of interesting uh, changes in the way we behave uh, in the aviation sector, which is a very uh, heavy regulated sector. Nevertheless, we became uh, innovators and entrepreneurs. Uh, we showed flexibility and, 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 and agility and handling the situation and the pandemic, not only in the aviation sector, but in many other sectors where we have seen the same trial and error uh, was used a lot to find the path and to look for the best way uh, to continue serving our customers, reducing costs and delivering the right quality services uh, at all times. 2020 was a year of survivability with all the drastic drops in all flight activities worldwide, including Saudi Arabia. The level of operations at one point has reached a level of 3.8% in comparison to 2019 baseline in April of 2020. During the start of the pandemic, we were facing a lot of uncertainties and all stakeholders in this industry had to act fast to respond with the sudden change in demands. However, ground handling main challenges were the heavy associated fixed costs, where nearly 80% of the cost comes from high labor intensive operations. Thus, ground handling companies forced to come up with different initiatives and measures related to cost containment. In Saudi ground services, we had to conduct various internal workshops with all stakeholders to evaluate the situation and calculate multiple scenarios in order to find a methodology that will help the company to survive during the devastating pandemic. Given the fact that Saudi ground services has large presence across 28 airports within the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, the team and I had to analyze multiple scenarios, including market surveys, the latest reports, and the aviation studies, in addition to the big pharmaceutical company statements regarding COVID-19 vaccination development. We had to work closely with all different stakeholders, which includes airlines, airports, authorities, etc., and the resumption of operations and the estimated number of expected flights at each stage. Fortunately, the team and I were able to come up with a new cost containment strategy, which we named the MSRS, and it stands for the Minimum Sustainability Resources Strategy. And that strategy focused on four pillars. The first one was liquidity, HR development, employment and workforce, and ground support equipment. The MSRS served as a tool to monitor the cost and identify saving opportunities. It allowed the company to achieve around 20 to 25% efficiency and rates in different areas of the business during the pandemic, the team in SGS was able to create, plan, and execute the MSRS to transform its existing cost structure and to achieve more agility to ensure the optimum utilization of resources, cash preservance, and sufficient liquidity until the end of the year 2021. The strategy addressed three different scenarios, best, moderate, and worst case to maintain market share and increase revenues and profit margins, despite the fluctuating demand throughout the pandemic. In developing the strategy, the team in SGS intention was to create an agile operating environment that enabled it to deploy resources in a flexible way. To ensure that all key decisions were based on the MSRS, the team in SGS assigned a risk management and a committee management that had the full authority to make all the necessary decisions and to manage day-to-day -day operations and make changes as deemed necessary, providing continuity and stability at the time of ambiguities. Throughout the development of the strategy, the team at SGS was able to achieve an operational cost reduction of around 24%, with further targets up to 30% throughout more and further initiatives and optimizations. Through the MSRS, SGS expects to be able to offset the pandemic-related revenue losses over a five-year time frame and maintain on-time service performance as demand recovers. In order to ensure full success of the MSRS, SGS focused on two initiatives, commercial excellence and operation excellence. In the commercial excellence initiative, we changed our methodology and finding different ways to maximize our market shares and finding new revenue generation activities, such as re-evaluate our pricing models to incentivize airlines to operate more with such impact, invest more in aircraft cleaning services, such as the UVC and disinfection, and the contactless journey using AIs and biometric IDs for check-in, baggage drop-off, and boarding, 
Uh, additionally, in creating digital platform that enables customers, passengers, and airlines to request products and services from providers in and outside airport terminals. Finally, check-in and baggage handling services provided to passengers at home to reduce the congestions at airports and the potential exposure of COVID-19. We have been very creative in our operational excellence initiatives where we restructured the way of doing our core businesses via emphasizing on getting the basics right in order to achieve zero incidents, zero complaints. Having such mindset requires focusing on people, systems, in order to link the overall strategy and KPIs from top down to bottom up. This operations excellence framework work on cascading down the MSRS KPIs from the CEO level to the frontline employees through daily direct settings and then reflect from the frontline employees upwards via the performance management system, where all the stations and airports performance indicators led to a single source of truth called the Operational Performance Dashboard. In this dashboard, SGS established the red and green culture, where we celebrate the red in a way that leads to proper monitoring and improvement in an institutionalized way of problem-solving methodology. Beside all what has been mentioned, SGS focuses now on embracing technologies and innovation initiatives in order to elevate opportunities and digital transformation of our business. We believe that digital innovations offer the potential to revolutionize the segment and only technological advanced companies will be able to compete in the upcoming years of aviation. For example, SGS has entered into partnership with global and local digital firms to improve the services provision and make efficient use of data. Now, all resources are managed via a digital platform to ensure that capacity to demand concept is achieved properly and help to compete, to inflate and deflate the capacity based on the day-to-day -day demand and to capture operations peaks versus downsides of the day. Moreover, we started a few manpower optimization initiatives driven by the deployment of the automated resources and the optimization planning system, which is called Inform, coupled with the redeployment of the employees to cover different posts. Given the current difficulties and the need to develop lower cost services, SGS established an operational excellence function that worked hand in hand with the customers to redesign and value stream the passengers and turnaround processes that resulted in significant improvement to the lead time. An example of that is the 40% reduction in cleaning services. Last but not least, to improve the quality and productivity of new employees, SGS has collaborated with King Abdelaziz University to develop a one-year ground handling diploma program. It's the first of its kind in the region. The program will help in reducing the training requirements for the new employees and provide a higher quality pool of intake, which will result in higher productivity and quality at lower costs. While the temporary collapse of the global travel industry created unprecedented challenges for the aviation sector, it also created a period of enforced diversification and innovation. Key players like SGS adapted well by consolidating costs, diversifying into new services such as sanitization, and investing in developing new digital last mile services. By doing so, we have strengthened our competitiveness and laid the foundation for an accelerated growth once the pandemic subsides.